Iodine. It is so important to the body. So today you need to listen very carefully to Dr. B David Brownstein's book, Why You Need It and Why You Can't Live Without It. For over 100 years, iodine has been known as the element that is necessary for thyroid hormone production. However, it is rare to see any further information of iodine's other effects in the body. Iodine is found in each of the trillions of cells of the body. Without adequate iodine levels, life itself is not possible. Adequate iodine levels are necessary for proper immune function. Iodine contains potent antibacterial, antiparasitic, antiviral, and anti-cancer properties. Iodine is also effective for treating fibrocystic breasts, ovarian cysts, attention deficit disorder, fatigue, hemorrhoids, migraines, hypertension, infections, prostate disorders, vaginal infections, etc. With iodine supplementation, hypothyroid and autoimmune thyroid symptoms improve. Cancer therapies are more effective and more importantly, people feel better when the body is given the proper form and amount of iodine. The research is clear. Iodized salt is a poor substitute of iodide as it is not bioavailable for the body. Seaweed is one of the most abundant sources because seaweed has the ability to concentrate a large amount of iodine from the ocean water. The reason there is so much iodine deficiency present is not only due to the inadequate iodine intake, it is also due to the toxicities we're exposed to on a daily basis, including bromine and fluoride. The most significant change occurred with the changing of the food industry. In the 1960s, iodine was added to the commercial baking industry as a dough conditioner. Twenty years later, bromine replaced iodine in the baking industry. Bromine is a toxic substance that has no therapeutic use in the body. It can bind to iodine receptors in the breast and is a known carcinogen to the breast. On the other hand, iodine is anti-carcinogenic. The con the, a huge consequence of replacing iodine with bromine is that iodine is now inhibited from binding to its own receptors because it's been taken up by the bromine. The medical consequences include increased thyroid disorders and thyroid cancer. In addition, the rise of other cancers, including breast and prostate cancer, may be related to this phenomenon. Fluoride is in the same family as bromide. The fluoridation of the water supply has been based on terrible science and is causing much more harm than good. Fluoride has been shown to inhibit the ability of the thyroid gland to concentrate iodine. Fluoride is much more toxic to the body when there is iodine deficiency present. However, if there is sufficient amount of iodine present, then the toxic bromide and fluoride should not be allowed to bind in the body and they will be excreted. Also, in many patients I have observed the detoxifying effect of iodine supplementation on mercury and other heavy metals. So when I learned that the left side of my thyroid was bad and the right side was deteriorating, I started to snack on dulse, the seaweed. After a few months, my thyroid was reported to have recovered on the one side and was recovering on the other. So when you buy your dulse, in probably mostly in the health food store, take the package and give it a bend. If it's very flexible, you'll have a nice, fresh seaweed. And I found that the nicest way to snack on dulse is to is simply wrap it around a walnut. This is what I did while I was recovering my thyroid. Just taking walnut, wrap a nice flexible leaf around it. And what you have is like a salty nut. It's really nice. Enjoy.